More details have been revealed after Angie Harmon's dog was killed by a delivery driver. On April 5th, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department tells People Magazine in a statement that even though the driver claimed he was bitten by the dog, the authorities did not find any visible injuries on the driver. And after further investigation, their officers, quote, thoroughly and ultimately decided not to pursue charges. The police are not seeking additional parties. The case is now closed. On April 1st, the Law & Order alum shared on Instagram that, quote, a man delivering groceries for Instacart shot and killed her beloved pet over Easter weekend. She wrote in the post alongside throwback photos of her dog, Oliver, he got out of his car, delivered the food, and then shot our dog. Our ring camera was charging in the house, which he saw and then knew he wasn't being recorded. The police let him go because he claimed, quote, self-defense. He did not have a scratch or bite on him, nor were his pants torn. She also said the delivery man had been, quote, shopping under a woman's identity and shares a screenshot that showed the photo and name associated with the shopper profile. Angie, who was mom to daughters Finley, Avery, and Emery, noted that she and her kids were home at the time of the incident and that, quote, he shot our dog with my daughters and myself at home and just kept saying, yeah, I shot your dog, yeah, I did. Ending her post with, we are all completely traumatized and beyond devastated at the loss of our beloved boy and family member, RIP Ali. The actress also took to her Instagram stories to send a message to the delivery driver. To the man who took Ollie away from us, your actions are despicable and inexcusable. You've not only robbed us of a beloved member of our family, but you've also traumatized us beyond measure. The fact that someone could commit such a heartless act is beyond comprehension to me, and I'm devastated that I didn't get to say goodbye to him. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department in Charlotte, North Carolina confirmed that the delivery man said he acted in self-defense. And in a statement to People Magazine, the CMPD noted the driver told officers that a dog attacked him while he was at the residence and that he defended himself by firing a single gunshot, striking and mortally wounding the dog. Instacart has also spoken out regarding the incident, telling People Magazine, We were deeply saddened and disturbed to hear about this incident. We have no tolerance for violence of any kind, and the shopper account was immediately suspended from our platform. We have been in direct contact with the customer and are cooperating with law enforcement on their investigation. E! News has reached out to Instacart for additional comment, but has yet to hear back.